let's recreate the armor effect in 116.5. All right, we found ourselves back in IntelliJ once more. And in this tutorial, we're going to be taking the full armor effect that you've probably seen in the other tutorials. So in the Fabric 117, in the Forge 117 series, and we're going to basically sort of backport it to 116.5. All of the code is, of course, available to you in the description below, GitHub repository, or an individual gist as well, because I'm going to just copy over the entire class. This is the mod armor class right here, and this is actually going to be fairly straightforward. We're going to go through this in, you know, a little bit, and then I'm going to explain what this all means. So basically what you will have is you will have this map right here, which maps an eye armor material to a certain effect. This means that you can basically put different things in here. So I could, for example, duplicate this control D and I could even put in the armor, armor material, right? Armor material dot, for example, gold. And then I could even add an effect to gold. So effects dot, let's say, for example, Wolfen's Grace. So I could even do this. Now, if I were to wear old armor, I would actually get Dolphin's Grace as an effect. That's really cool. And you can basically have as many in here as you want. So how is this working? Well, this is working with the on armor tick method. This method, if we middle mouse button click on this, I believe that we should be able to actually see this. Yeah, hold tick in the armor slot override to do something. So basically, if this armor item is inside of the armor slot, then this tick method here is called and then we're basically doing stuff. And what we're doing is, hey, we're going to say, has the player actually a full suit of armor on, right? So that's the first thing that we're going to evaluate right here. So this is pretty much just checking whether or not there is actually something in there. So we're going to make a lot of item stacks here and then just checking that none of them are empty. So basically, does the player have a full suit of armor on? Fair enough. Okay. And then we're going to go into the evaluate armor effects method, where first of all, we're basically going through this map here, right? So we're going through the entry set, meaning that we actually basically just want the the key value pair, right? So we're going to get the key value pair, and then we're going to get the armor material by getting the key, and then the status effect by getting the actual value. And then we're going to say, hey, does this player actually have the correct armor on? So this is right here. So the armor basically just means, hey, does this, this material that the player is wearing the same as this material right here? And if all of them match, then we're going to be fine and we can actually go and continue with adding the status effect for this material. And what we're going to basically look at is whether or not the player already has the effect applied. And if that is not the case here, then we're going to apply it for, as you can see, 10 seconds in this case. Now, there is a good case to be made to changing this to 400 by default, simply because of the fact that when you put it at 200 ticks, then the, you know, a effect actually starts to diminish at 10. So it starts to like flash. So that can kind of be annoying sometimes. So there's a good point in this to put it at 400, for example. Also, there are a few limitations with this class at the moment. So for example, I can't really decide how long each individual effect is. So every one of them would be the same, same with the level of the effect. So that is a, you know, a little bit of a limitation here. However, with some, you know, solid Java knowledge that you will probably hopefully have, you should be able to expand this, I mean, fairly easily. Let's say uh, you could, for example, instead of making an effect, you could make a new effect instance here or something like that. So that would be something I would, um, you know, think of. And you can also see this right here so that you can uncomment this if you want the armor to take damage as well. Now, I don't necessarily recommend this, but you could do this. So every time the effect is applied, you have a certain maybe percentage chance that the actual armor gets damaged. Or maybe not. That That is just a personal preference. I just added this because it's actually fairly straightforward. Now, what are we doing with this class? Well, in sort of a mod items class, I usually take the helmet because that seems to be like the most sensible one. And we change one of them to the mod armor item. Not all of them, only one of them. That's very important. So basically, you want to change in one set. So this is, of course, the amethyst set here. You only want to change one of them. I personally think the helmet makes the most sense. It could also be like the leg, like the chest plate makes sense as well. So... You could think of this like you want to. However, I personally choose the helmet. And now that is actually all that we need to do. So let's see if it works. All right, we find ourselves in Minecraft. So let's see if I put the entire armor on. And there we go. Now I am invisible. So pretty much exactly what we wanted. And it is for 20 seconds. So I can basically put the, you know, take the armor off. And, you know, now it's going to start to diminish, as I've said, right? So at 10 seconds start to get sort of the blinking effect in the top right corner. And if I don't have the helmet on, or I can also just 
Let's switch this out actually. So even though I have the helmet on, as you can see, because I don't have the entire armor on, it actually doesn't apply the effect. So once I put this on, there you go, now I'm invisible again. And then I could, you know, very quickly take it off and now I'm invisible and I could, you know, do all sorts of pranks right here. Right, but that would already be it for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. If you did, I would very much appreciate a like. And don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. So, yeah.